Hello everybody, welcome to a special video. Today we are celebrating 2000 subscribers and I wanna say a big, big thank you to everybody that has subscribed so far. To celebrate it, of course, what we're gonna do is I think Amiga and in WinUAE. And what I wanna do is I wanna emulate an Amiga 2000. Now, an Amiga 2000 is a big box Amiga that was released in 1987 after the Amiga 1000. And it was quite an expensive uh, Amiga for its time, basically put into a big box and designed for businesses and more creative things rather than just gaming. If we go to WinUAE, we'll probably look under the model list and think, oh, hang on, uh, where's the 2000? Uh, there's a 3000 and there's a 1000, but where's the 2000? What we're gonna do is we're gonna build one that's as close as possible, very similar to the A500. So uh, we're gonna do start off with that configuration and let's change it round a bit. So it's still got the uh, original 6800 processor. You could get uh, expansion cards for it as well. So let's go for, to the specifications. Yep, so it's still a seven megahertz. Next, what we're gonna do is chipset. Well, we haven't got an A500, we've got a 2000. There we go, extra chipset. Let's go to the ROMs. It came with a 1.3 kickstart ROM and then the RAM. So we're gonna get rid of that slow RAM and we're just gonna put in one megabyte of chip RAM, which is what this came with. So floppy drives, well, we're gonna have a nice fast floppy drive, but then hang on, we're gonna put a hard drive in this as well. So how are we gonna do that? Well, let's go to expansions and I've got the Amiga Forever pack, so I'm able to quite easily do this. But um, what we're gonna do is go, go to expansions SCSI controllers, we're looking for the A2091, okay? And we've got to select our ROM, there's our ROM. There we go, that's all plugged in. Now I'm going to make a hard drive. Now we go to add hard file, and I'm going to put in a 56 megabyte hard drive. Now why 56, you say? Well, the Amiga 2000 hard drive edition came with a 56 megabyte hard drive so we're going to emulate that today so 56 megabytes click on create i'm going to call this a 2000 and then save and then what we're going to do is we're going to do full drive rdb mode and then for the controller click on uae hf and then go commodore 2091 Select that and then go down all the way down to unit six and then click on OK. Right, we've got our hard drive installed. I think we're all ready to go. Let's click start. Then we've got the Amiga Workbench 1.3 boot screen. Excellent. So what are we gonna do now? Well, we need to put in a floppy disk that I've managed to get off the internet and it's the Amiga 2091 install disk. So let's put that in. I'll leave a description on where I, I found this and then let's start it up. Caught cool, that original uh, blue screen of the 1.3 kickstart. It's a bit glary, isn't it? Okay, so let's go into the disk. Now we've got a few options here. So uh, first off, we prepare the hard drive. This will do a low level format of the hard drive in unit six. That's why I chose unit six. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I'm sure we want to do this. Type yes. There we go, it's detected it. Brilliant. Reboot the machine. Okay, excellent. And then you can see we've got a hard drive on the desktop. That's brilliant, but it's not formatted at the moment. Next we're gonna do is go to go format HD. So let's double click on that. Then it's going to say, right, we'll go format uh, DH0. All the information will be lost. That's totally fine. And we say yes and press enter. And then we just wait for the hard drive to format. So while we wait for this to format, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody that's subscribed to the channel already. This channel has been designed to help people uh, with the Commodore Amiga. And I've had a lot of good positive feedback from people that have 
really enjoyed my videos and and really helped them in getting back into the Amiga so if this is the first time you're visiting my channel I recommend that you have a look around um, and there's loads of videos on WinUAE I've got some gaming videos as well but most of them are tutorials on WinUAE also look at the Mr FPGA as well which is a really cool uh, system we've also looked at the Amiga 500 plus that I've got and also doing up my Amiga 600 that has been quite a challenge but then I've got my Amiga 1200 that I've had since 1993 which still keeps on plowing on really well excellent and complete and then it asks would you like to install the system software and what it means by that is basically workbench so we're going to be getting our workbench 1.3 discs ready and let's just choose yes and then choose yes again setting up the ram disk then it's asking for the workbench 1.3 so let's find that there it is and insert that and then it asks for the second disk which is the extras disk which is just there there was only ever two disks that came with workbench 1.3 so it's not going to be much disk swapping don't worry and there we go software installation is now complete what we just need to do now is eject that extra disk that we've got in there give our Amiga a reboot and then hopefully we should boot on the hard drive into a nice workbench installation so there we go release 1.3 it's loading up now and there we go workbench 1.3 and on an Amiga 2000 classic icons here and classic look um, those of you probably wondering why is there a folder called empty and yes it is empty don't worry and as you can see so like the options at the top are very limited and one thing that is missing is a create a new folder um, so what you tend to do on 1.3 is select the empty uh, go to workbench go to duplicate so you're copying another empty then have to rename that it's a bit convoluted and a bit crazy in today's world but that's how you used to make a folder in the Amiga so uh, let's call this dpaint because what's the reason for having a hard drive on an old Amiga like this well if you used programs like deluxe paint then it was quite convenient to have a hard drive so you can store all of your paintings and everything so um, this is dpaint and then what we're going to do is just drag that over to there and then basically we've installed dpaint onto our hard drive nice and easy so the final thing to do is load up dpaint and obviously we need to load up a nice bit of artwork and I've got in blue Peter fashion I've made one of those already and it's called a 2000 let's load it up so there we go thank you everybody for subscribing and obviously if you haven't subscribed already that would be really cool but if you've enjoyed this video remember give it a like that is really really important and helps out the channel and thank you very much and hopefully i'll see you in another video bye everybody